This is Echo 3, and let's continue our career mode discussion. I'd like to earn some more money for my program, so we're going to go to the mission control and pick up some contracts. There is one to rendezvous and dock two vessels in orbit around Duna, so I'll get it. Uh, let's see, surface science is usually pretty easy to get, and the surface science can be blueberries, so we'll get some of those from the surface of Duna. And we got to go to the surface, so why don't we send a base down there, so we'll get that outpost contract. And you know what? The satellite contract doesn't look like it has too many requirements. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it. Well, that's five contracts. So let's go over and start building our crafts. I'm gonna start in the space plane hangar and we're gonna build a rover so we can explore the surface and get some surface science. The blueberries can be a little difficult to find so we need to drive around and get them in case they aren't very close to our landing site. So let's build a rover for the task and get as much science out of the mission as possible. I can tell you right off the bat that this rover didn't end up working as well as I had hoped. The front wheels were probably the biggest problem, so I would not try to copy this rover exactly if I were you. Although other than that, you know, if you used uh, the bigger wheels, probably would have been fine. Now we're gonna put this on a fairing plate and you can see the uh, docking port there to detach the rover from this section and this will all be our lander. Now I'm building the lander specifically this way so that it will also count as the surface outpost. While this is still all together it has room for the five kerbals as necessitated by the contract. Now it can generate power with the solar panels and we've got the antenna on there and a docking port there we go this completes uh, can complete that contract now we're gonna put some ladders on here just in case we have difficulties getting back in although it doesn't end up being uh, something we need but I ended up putting them on because I didn't know that at the time we're gonna put on a couple drogue chutes to help orient the craft uh, as it descends and then we'll put some regular chutes on here this won't slow the craft down enough to land, but it'll only take about 30 meters per second from the engine of Delta V to fully slow down. We're gonna build a middle stage here. This will help finish getting us into orbit and get us a good ejection burn towards Duna. Now this is just a lander. This does not have to get home. Uh, this just has to get back in orbit around Duna and rendezvous with our return craft. So I don't have to factor in the Delta V for a return mission. That's why this craft is built the way it is. It just has to get back into orbit from the surface of Duna. And you know what? Let's um, use solid rocket boosters to launch this thing into orbit. That sounds like a fun idea. Now we're gonna build our return craft. Now we have to dock two vessels in orbit, so that necessitates two separate launches. And that's why we're gonna build this. And this will return our surface kerbals back to uh, Kerbin, but this does not have to land and get back into orbit around Duna. This will just stay in orbit. So we're going to build it this way. Since we got a dock, I'm going to put some RCS thrusters on here. It helps. You don't have to use RCS thrusters. I just find them a little useful. And they're also useful for making small burns. Now we have this contract to put a probe, and we'll put it here in a little cargo bay. And just put the requirements that we need for the probe. I'm not gonna go extravagant in this case. Put a little fuel, a little solar panels. Contract says we need some mystery goo, so we'll do that, and an antenna. And that probe is set, and we'll close it up in the fairing. Now we gotta get this thing into space. Um, so we need kind of a middle stage here. It doesn't take much. Uh, that, yeah, that'll work for our middle stage. Just kinda finish getting us into orbit around Kerbin, or maybe even if that. And let's see, let's get this thing launched. Let's use a big solid rocket booster and we'll have some fun with it. Now it didn't have quite as much Delta V as I wanted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple more boosters on the side. More boosters is usually the answer. And then I can decrease the throttle in the main booster because the side boosters will give us a pretty good kick. Uh, now the side boosters don't have thrust vectoring so I'm going to add some winglets to help control just a little bit better uh, while we're low in the atmosphere. Okay, 
Uh, we'll just have Jebediah in this, and we have two Kerbals in the other, a couple solar panels, and let's launch this thing to Duna. We're already in a transfer window. Uh, I time warped there, so you don't have to worry about that, but a transfer window for Duna is when Duna is 45 degrees ahead of Kerbin. As you draw a line from Kerbin to the sun, another line from the sun to Duna, and, and that'll make a 45 degree angle. Now this video, uh, if I did not edit it, it would be over three hours long. So I'm gonna cut away a lot and just show you the highlights. And even then I sped up the footage quite a bit. So what we're doing here, I'm going to ditch the bottom part of this and we're just gonna dock this probe to the front. And that's how we're gonna get it to Duna. And I did not have uh, RCS on the probe, but it's pretty nimble. And it's set to go. Now we'll just uh, set up our maneuver to go to Duna. And the MUN was in the way just a little bit. It made it tricky to get there, but it ended up not hurting us at all, maybe helping us, saving us a few meters per second of delta V. And now we're gonna launch our second craft. The first craft is on its way to Duna. This thing also using a couple solid rocket boosters for the first part of the ascent. And we'll decouple those. And now we got the Rhino engine to blast us the rest of the way into orbit. And again, this footage is sped up considerably. I think it's running about eight times normal speed. So if you build a craft like this, like yeah, it's gonna take longer to get into orbit. Now we're gonna set us up, finish circularizing around Kerbin, and then we will set up our transfer to Duna. We're leaving just after the first craft, but it's gonna work out that this second craft is gonna to get to Duna later than the first craft by, I don't know, a couple weeks or so. It ends up working out pretty well, timing. Uh, just means I don't have to handle too much. Now I'm gonna make a couple correction burns on both crafts so I can set up a polar orbit. Those Duna blueberries are found on the poles, and so I would like to land on the south pole to try and find those. So I'm gonna set up a polar orbit to do that. Both of these crafts are designed to aero break, and I did aero break a couple passes on both crafts, so I don't show you all of that. Anyway, we aero break, we get into orbit, and then I finish the circularization at my apoapsis, so my periapsis goes above the atmosphere. Then we're gonna detach the probe and send it out to where it's supposed to go. I uh, reach all the way out, change the inclination here, and contract complete. All right, there's one contract done. Now here comes our second craft, and we're gonna aero break, and we're gonna end up Aero braking and landing. I don't show you all of the, I don't know, five, six aero braking passes I did with this thing. Anyway, I cut stuff out for you guys. And we're gonna land here on the south pole. Drogue chutes end up coming in very handy as this thing did not want to point retrograde, but it lands well. And we're gonna pop chutes now. <laughs> it was a little dicey there, I didn't know. Anyway, we're gonna land okay. I end up having an issue shortly after I land. Now on the surface, this thing does complete the base contract. Okay, we wait a few seconds and base contract's complete. Now when I end up undoing the rover, the top section falls off. Now you think, well, why'd it do that? It should have been attached. And it should have, and oddly enough, it is. And we'll come back to this. But we're gonna drive around, we're gonna find some blueberries. Here we do, now we gotta click on our Kerbal and chip off a small piece, and we'll take that back into our rover. Yeah, let's uh, plant a flag, we need to do that. That's what we do in Kerbal Space Program, get to a new planet, plant a flag, there we go. All right, now we're gonna go back on the rover, go back to the craft. Now this was a really weird bug I encountered. So I get the Kerbals into the craft and um, not sure how I'm gonna get this thing back into orbit. So I quick save before uh, I launch. Well, things go poorly as you might expect. But then when I reloaded my quick save, boom, it was on top where it should have been. I, I have no idea. And oddly enough, loading my save fixed the problem. So we launch and we're going to get back into a polar orbit and try and rendezvous and dock with our other craft, 
Again, that's part of our contract. We have to rendezvous and dock two crafts in orbit around Duna. So we've got our surface science, we've got our blueberries, we've landed our base, we've put our satellite in orbit. Now we just need to rendezvous and dock and that will complete all five contracts that we need to around Duna. It'll also let us get our Kerbals home because this craft does not have a Delta V to get back to Kerbin. Uh, overall, this, uh, this mission I ran pretty close. Uh, my crafts were well built for what they needed to do, but I didn't have a lot of extra margin. Sometimes I build way extra margin. Like in my Moho video, I had, I don't know, thousands of meters per second of Delta V extra. This one's more like only a few hundred. Uh, anyway, it was, it was enough, but just make sure you look at your Delta V budgets, and there are online calculators that help you know, like Delta V maps and everything. So you know what you do, so reference those when you build your crafts, that's what I do. And, you know, just make sure you got enough. Now because I'm in a polar orbit, I'm going to eject Duna when my orbit is tangent to Duna's orbit around the sun. Thus, that, that doesn't end up being at a transfer window. That's not really a big deal. So then at my periapsis around the sun, I'm going to make an adjustment and then make another couple correction maneuvers and get my encounter with Kerbin. And we will aero break and land at Kerbin with our full amount of science. We don't need our uh, command module, our command section up there. Anyway, ditch our fuel, parachutes, and actually the shores is a new biome, so I'm going to gather a little bit of science here. And our Kerbals are going to land safely. We got a fair amount of science off of this mission and about 3 million funds. So overall, pretty successful. Hey, thanks for joining me on this career mode discussion as we go to Duna and fulfill five contracts. I will see you next time.